industry in Malaysia has become one of the most highly organized sectors of any national farming system in the world. Oil palm can be used not only as a source of edible oil, but also an excellent source of renewable energy. Malaysia is a country rich in oil palm plantation and is one of the largest exporter of palm oil. Today, 4.49 million hectares of land in Malaysia is under oil palm cultivation, producing 17.73 million tons of palm oil, 11% of the world's oils and fats productions, and 27% of export trade of oils and fats are from Malaysia. The industry provides employment to more than half a million people. Because of oil palm high demand and supply, the country can't risk reduction in oil palm production, which will affect the economical finance. But many diseases has been found to affect the oil palm plantation. One of the deadliest disease is basal rot disease, BSR. The greatest threat to oil palm production is from stem rot. BSR is a reinfection and lower stem invasion by Ganoderma boninans white rot fungus. Progressive decay of root system and lower stem induces disease system, causes yield loss and finally killing the trees. BSR can kill up to 80% of the stem by the time when the palms are halfway through the normal economic lifespan. Ganoderma produces enzymes that impair woody tissue and damage lignin and cellulose of all palm trees. The fungus destroys the palm trunks internally affects xylem, causes severe problems in water distribution and impairs the macronutrients and micronutrients of the tree. The oil palm can be treated if still in the early stage, but it is very difficult to observe the morphological of oil palm one at a time and daily. Very inconvenient and time-consuming since oil palm plantation is very large. Thus, the research has been conducted to apply instruments in observing oil palm plantation to decrease the risk of dying oil palm tree. Since TSL and ArcGIS is still new in oil palm industry, here is the images of both TSL and ArcGIS. These are the examples of images captured by ArcGIS. TLS stands for Terrestrial Laser Scanner, while ArcGIS stands for Architectural GIS. Environmental Systems Research Institute, ESRI, has designed and manufactured a GIS, a system or framework that was designed to store, manage, and analyze geographical and spatial data. One of it is ArcGIS. GIS is used in yield mapping to contribute faster and easier process in oil palm management, to create virtual environments for farmers to gain information on condition of field in real time, and lastly, to generate a digital harvesting map, farmer can assess the accurate location of the infected tree. Special analysis enables integration of new information by updating the data, can be utilized to perform statistical, mathematical, and geographical operations on map data. Cloud services serves as a platform for geospatial computing offer a customized use of web base of GIS. Web mapping are employed to support decision making in scientific research. Geospatial cloud for plan monitoring inventory health assessment to transfer phenological data with temporal and spatial references. ArcGIS Online AGOL is a cloud-based content. It provides technology for users to customize the content in a user-friendly environment that does not need programming. Virtual maps can be used by people in different locations and can be accessed using web browsers and smartphones, applications, and tablets. The main application of AGOL in this research is to observe trend of Ganoderma boninans disease in oil palm plantation even in offline mode, while other application is to track wildfire and for temporal and spatial monitoring of leaks. Benefits of AGOL is to forge closer links between workers at the field to save energy and time and efficient delivery of information. To collect data, the map of the research area is developed using AppMap software. Then, the coordinates of the trees is measured using Trimble GPS Juno. 
Lastly, the coordinates of the trees we use in AppMap software for digitizing the aerial map of oil palm trees. ArcMap is the main component of S3's ArcGIS suite of geospatial processing programs. It allows users to explore the data and symbolize the features using two distinct sections of program, which is table content and data frame. It is used for viewing, editing, and analyzing data. Oil palm trees are predetermined and divided into four categories. For this research, it uses TO, T1, T2 and T3. The method to use terrestrial laser scanner TSL is to scan each oil palm tree at four different positions around tree. Here is the example of the image scanned by TSL. The data extracted from TSL are front area, front strata, crown area, and crown strata. Healthiness are locked in in the database. Limits of healthiness levels are set prior for disease classification purposes. ArcGIS Online or AGOL is used as a platform to publish the map in online platform. Each dataset was shared as an individual map service to a personal ArcGIS server account that prior to be created. Online Interactive is created using ArcGIS Web App Builder. It allows for developing web applications without the use of code. Web App Builder uses widgets to allow users to perform many tasks within application. For all pun management, Query Widget was used to explore the operational tasks for the users. These are the summary for using TSL and ArcGIS. First is data collection, scanning individual oil palm tree. Second, data processing, integration of data. And thirdly, the output, the online interactive map and apps. Digital map of healthiness levels is accessible in most gadgets such as phone, tabs, or laptop.